Hello 3E. We're going to be talking about living expenses today. Uh, our goal, I understand the cost of living expenses and how they will be paid. Now the how they will be paid part will be dealt with in, in the next video, but we're going to be working on living expenses for a couple of days now. Um, and today's work may take you more than today as well. Uh, first we're going to talk about what I mean by living expenses. Uh, living expenses fall into two categories, essential and non-essential. Uh, this is in fact needs versus wants or have to haves versus nice to haves and you need to know the difference between those two things. So if we take a look at all of the stuff that I've got here these are different kinds of living expenses not everybody has the same living expenses um, but we do have some of the very basic needs to be the same. So what I want you to think about is these things that I have here. Are these need to haves or want to haves? How about hydro? Do we need it or do we want it? Heating, need it or want it? Entertainment, need it or want it? So that kind of thing. Clothing, phone, cell phone, food, transportation, cable, rent or mortgage payment, internet, income taxes, CPP, EI, health care, restaurant expenses, savings. So where do these fall and can you think of some more? Is there any other kind of living expenses? Um, this can kind of go over over the night. You can discuss with your with your parents tonight and see what kind of living expenses they might come up with. Um, so I want you to sort of rack your brain and this is the first exercise. I want you to fill in this chart I want you to come up with essential items and non-essential items and you're going to look, um, use Google to help you figure out what each of these things are going to cost. So it's a little bit of a research project uh, as well as a lesson today. I want you to, f to come up with essential and non-essential items and then research how much they cost. You can use Google. Um, or you can ask your parents tonight as well so it's going to stretch over a couple of days. Uh, I want you to determine or put all calculations into your exercise book the minimum net monthly income that would be needed to pay for all essential expenses. So you're going to, once you've figured these out, you're going to add up the monthly cost for the essential and figure out what that is and then that is the absolute minimum um, monthly uh, net pay that you could possibly have. Uh, if you're going to pay for all those living expenses. And then I want you to sort of mix and match. Then I want you to add up all essential and all non-essential expenses and then all essential and pick a few non-essential expenses uh, and you're going to add them up. And then all essential expenses plus a savings of $100 a month, all essential expenses, select non-essentials, and savings of $150 a month and then everything that from your list all essential and non-essential costs and you're going to add them up in these in this way just to see what what kind of income you need to have and remember this is net income uh, because you have things like the CPP and the EI and stuff that's going to be deducted so you're going to add all of those things up now, for each part of exercise two, you determine the monthly net income for those expenses. Okay? Assume that net income is 80% of the gross income. So for everything you've done uh, over, over here, you're going to make a calculation. You'll have totals here. I don't know what your totals might be. All essential expenses, you might have uh, $562. I don't know. Okay. And so you're going to have some sort of total on each one of these things. Okay, I don't know what it is because you're going to have to do a little research and figure out what it costs. Once you have those, I want you to consider that that is um, your net income. So that's going to be your net income. Assume that net income is 80% of your gross income. And now we're going to try and figure out what kind of salary, gross salary, you'd be paid so that those expenses, um, the living expenses, could be paid for. And you're going to do it for each of those um, calculations before. 
Now, uh, I'm going to give you an example of a calculation. So say if you added them all up and your net monthly income needed to be $1,356. So if your net income needed to be $1,356 and we can assume that you had 20% um, of, of your paycheck was taken by um, by deductions of some sort, maybe benefits packages or anything that we learned about yesterday, um, what would the gross be? So here's how you calculate it. You're going to take, oops, <clears throat> you're going to take this thirteen hundred fifty-six dollars, and since it is eighty percent of your pay, you're going to divide it by zero point eight to find out what a hundred percent of your gross pay is going to be. <clears throat> so we'll take 1356 divided by 0 0.08 oops sorry not 0 0.08 um, clear 1356 divided by 0.8 which is oh and that didn't register either. Third, let's try third times the charm 13 56 divided by 0 0.8 equals 1695. So your monthly income, 1695, that's uh, your gross monthly income. Okay, um, and then you'll have to take your gross monthly income, which is 1695, and we want to figure out the annual pay. So if this is monthly pay we need to times it by 12 to get the annual pay. So let's just take this and say annual equals monthly times 12. So that's what we're doing in this question here. We're taking our monthly and we're timesing it by 12. So, times 12. 20,340. So 20,340 would be your minimum salary that you could have on those living expenses. And so let's just make a couple of things here. This is your net income divided by 80% to give you your gross and approximately not everybody pays uh, has a net income that's only 80% of their gross pay okay now exercise four you're gonna look up the cost of renting accommodations in the area now I've included a link on um, my website to the classified ads from the Stratford Beacon Herald so you just need to search for rentals uh, when it comes up. So when you, um, here's the site, uh, you should click on my leak, link, it should come up to here. If it doesn't, you just go to, to take this drop down menu and go to rentals and then hit new search and it'll search through them again. Um, and it will get all rentals. So I want you to, to look through them and see what kind of things are for rent here. So rentals, houses and condos, retirement, that's probably not what you want. Um, some of these things are just for um, for older people. But look, here's a one bedroom apartment in Seaforth close to the uptown. So you can have a look at that uh, and see what it says. and um, there we go um, it includes heat hydro water and sewer and it's six hundred and fifty dollars a month available November 1st so when you have a look at them you're looking to see what it includes this one heat hydro water and sewer are included and it's about six hundred and fifty dollars a month so I want you just to peruse just take a look at the kind of um, kind of rentals there are. Uh, there's a few of them here in Seaforth right now. Um, maybe you might, oh there's one in, Be in Mitchell, a two bedroom in Mitchell. It's another $650 a month. So it's two bedrooms. Uh, some of the other ones were one bedroom. 
Okay, so just get a feel for what's out there. This one, what does it include? Uh, it includes a fridge and stove. It doesn't say anything about other utilities. So sometimes it includes um, some some uh, furniture. Sometimes it includes um, utilities. Sometimes this one down here. Um, this says it's a newer four bedroom, three bath, single detached home close to Toyota on the 401. So this is not really all that close to us and it doesn't say how much it costs. So this one's kind of useless to us, um, but it's got a bunch of stuff to, to look at. So what I want you to look at, I want you to get a feel for what it might cost a single person living by themselves to rent a place. and take a look at them, describe the kind of places you found, the number of bedrooms, the house or apartment, does it include utilities or not include utilities, what other kind of things are found. So just take a look at those and what seems to affect the cost of renting. Then you're going to complete these pages in the textbook and it's going to ask you to think about all kinds of things uh, and discuss. I want you to discuss it with some of your classmates now these things require a great deal of thought and not so much math so please um, when you're discussing it you might want to look stuff up in the uh, on the iPad as well use Google um, to answer some of these questions and it might take you a couple of days to get through all of this stuff and you don't have to do it in order either you can start with some of the textbook work and some of the searching um, for places to rent you can start with those rather than starting with some of the utility things that you maybe need to discuss with your parents or um, with somebody else so uh, that brings us to the end of this video